the debt trap diplomacy that China unleashed upon smaller neighbors, such as Sri Lanka and Pakistan, has now evolved into a full-blown catastrophe. The people of Gil Gilgit Baltistan continue to suffer silently as they have had no say while China's exploitation has gone virtually unnoticed. The plight of the people of Gilgit Baltistan deserves the close attention of this August Council, as does China's utter disregard for human rights. The increasing Chinese involvement in South Asia in recent years has borne the hallmarks of strategic, economic, and political opportunism characterized by violent aggression in pursuit of expansionist designs along its borders with countries such as Bhutan and India and deliberate transgression into the economic and sovereign space of vulnerable nations such as Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and the Maldives. In the past year, the debilitating impact of this Chinese strategy has been exposed a few times. The debt trap diplomacy that China unleashed upon smaller neighbors such as Sri Lanka and Pakistan has now evolved into a full-blown catastrophe, the magnitude of which has rightly led to considerable international focus. While the plight of the people of recognized country does find expression in the media, the disputed territory of Gilgit Baltistan in the erstwhile princely state of Jammu and Kashmir, my homeland, has been less fortunate. The people of Gil Gilgit Baltistan continue to suffer silently as they have had no say while China's exploitation in active partnership with a subservient Pakistan of their economic and natural resources through the China-Pakistan economic corridor has gone virtually unnoticed. The stifling of all contrarian voices by the Pakistani military establishment has also contributed to this predicament. Mr. President, in the absence of other voices to speak for them, the plight of the people of Gilgit Baltistan deserves the close attention of this August Council, as does China's utter disregard for human rights.